Hi, it's Len, the creator of singleparenting.us and author of the book Adventures in Single Parenting. Today I want to talk a little bit about pets. So maybe you're considering getting a family pet or two. Maybe you think it's a good idea. Before you make a final decision, I want you to consider some facts. The average 50 pound dog lives 10 to 12 years. The estimated average lifespan of an indoor only cat is 15 to 18 years, but can be as long as 20 to 25 years. A goldfish can live anywhere from 5 days to 25 years. Boa constrictors can live 20 to 30 years, but they've been known to live as long as 40 years. So the point is, this animal that you bring home is going to be around for a long time. But consider, for example, that your child is in kindergarten and all he wants is a goldfish, and you agree. You bring home a goldfish. Now, it's possible your child will graduate college, get married, have a family, and move across the country, and you'll still be feeding the goldfish. Are you ready? The reality is that if you agree to an animal, you are getting an animal, and you will end up taking care of the animal. No matter how much the child begs, pleads, cajoles, and promises, in the years ahead, circumstances will change. He'll be off playing soccer. He'll be with his girlfriends. He'll be he or she will be going to college. They'll have moved on. They'll have a family. And in many cases, you'll still have a pet to take care of. Well, let me tell you a couple things that happened to me, and let me also tell you that I'm not saying don't get pets. I was the prime example of having the city zoo in my house. I probably, I probably broke the local ordinances for the number of animals who per, were permitted in a residence at one time. I mean, we had two dogs, we had 17 cats, not all at the same time, and the cat story is another one that I, I, I'll, I'll save that for you to read about in the book. Um, but I, uh, we had mice, we had rats, we had goldfish, we had turtles, and we had boa constrictors. Now, let me tell you a couple of, of funny stories. I had a goldfish pond in the backyard. Never mind how the goldfish got there. That's another story. We can read about it. But my kids brought home a couple dogs. These dogs moved in, and they promptly dug up the backyard, and they ate the goldfish. Yeah, yeah I didn't know dogs ate goldfish either. We did have a boa constrictor. Now, you may not like snakes, and that's okay. I don't mind boa constrictors. Uh, they're perfectly good snakes. They mostly just live in a cage and don't bother anybody, and they eat live mice. My son brought home three mice to feed the boa constrictor. The boa ate two of them. One mouse escaped. I said I was going to set a trap for this mouse. My daughter pleaded with, pleaded with me, Daddy, don't trap it. I'll catch it. Give me a day. And I said, Fine, you've got 24 hours. Catch the mouse. She did. She put it in a cage. It escaped. Well, it turned out this mouse was a pregnant female. This mouse made 22 babies in a nest that it built underneath the dresser in her bedroom. This time I did set traps, and in a 24-hour period, I caught all 22 of those mice. Fair warning. No matter how you look at it, pets take a fair amount of time. They cost money, and in the final analysis, once again, no matter how much your child promises he or she will do, the fact is you will be responsible for the pet, and you will end up taking care of it. That's just the way it works. In my book, Adventures in Single Parenting, I devote a whole chapter to discussing pets and how to care for them and what to expect. I also tell you some more pretty hilarious stories about how things can go. Now, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel right up there so you get notified when new videos become available. And down there, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Ask a question. Uh, let's talk. Tell me what your experience is with pets. Finally, Right down there, go check out my website, singleparenting.us. Let's get to know each other. Good luck in the days, months, and years ahead. My wish for you is that your children grow up healthy, wealthy, and strong, and are positive contributors to society, and that you maintain your sanity in the process. We'll talk again. Bye for now.